Talk about a butts and lock today. I don't own any, I don't think I own any button locks. They're not really my favorite. And I don't have a reason for that. I just, they're not my fave. So a therapeutic edge, on the other hand, he loves button locks. And this one is his that he loaned me when we went to lunch the other day. So thank you for that. I will put a link to his channel down below. This is the Spartan Blades Palace uh, in a Tonto version. They have a new, since they came out with this one, they came out with a drop point, which actually looks pretty cool. I do love a Tonto blade, but that drop point one looks really nice. Uh, this is aluminum scales, made in the USA. S35 VM blade, as you can see that... Uh, why do we need to make it that big? Like, seriously. Why? I mean, it is the only thing on the blade. If it were me and I had to do that, I would probably put it on the backside, maybe? I don't know. I, I would want it, like, yeah. Let's put the blade steel in a kind of hidden spot. I don't need to advertise that as I go. So this has a thumb stud and a flipper. I think the stud works better. The detent is pretty light. If I just kind of go, it will open most of the time, but the detent is pretty light uh, because the button lock is part of the detent. So as I have been handling this for a week or two now, uh, I mostly deploy with thumb stud. That is my main way of deploying. It is fidgety and fun. It is rock solid and it's pretty cool. So let's talk about the specs real quick. It's five and an eighth, eight and five eighths overall, 3.6 inch blade with a 3.4 inch cutting edge, weighs in at 4.8 ounces and it runs on bearings. Does anybody care about all of the other dumb details that I put into the measurings, the behind the edge, the blade thickness, the overall, th I don't think anybody cares. I just ramble because I don't know. I love this really um, stonewash finish. It's like you can have a mirrored stonewash, which I don't like at all. Like never. Um, and you can have a stonewash, but this is kind of really like a heavy stonewash, like a working finish stonewash. So this is going to really take care of scratches and things like that from use. I, I love the way the blade looks. The crown is spine... Uh, there is a crowned spine of the blade. So that's very smooth and nice. A little bit of jimping here on the backside for your thumb, which works really well. You can kind of choke up. Don't necessarily recommend it. Depending on the, your grip, you can get your thumb all the way up here and get some work done. Like I said, aluminum scales, which is not my favorite. They're anodized, um, but that's okay. It's lightweight. Just a steel bent clip which works really well. It is fairly tight, a little bit tighter than I like, but eh, you know, it's all right. It works well. All in all, I think this is a great blade. Um, Spartan Blades hasn't really been a company that I have been that eh, familiar with or that fond of for no real reason. It's just not generally had things that appealed to me. But when Peter brought this out at lunch, um, I was kind of taken back by it. I really did like it. And so he said, there, keep it and do video. Like, keep it to borrow. Don't keep it, keep it. Um, so here it is next to the Sharpie. How about the Kubi KB237? One of my favorite budget blades still to this day. Favorite budget blade. I'll put a link, to an Amazon affiliate link down below just in case anybody wants to spend 40 bucks on an awesome budget knife with a D2 blade. Spider Code Delica. Let's pull out a Hellraiser. I'm trying to think if I have any other aluminum handled knives here on the table. I don't think I do, but the Hellraiser's kind of got the same look. And because I can, and Peter just did a video on VC Edge number 79. This is number 80. Number 79 is more of a standard offering. Um, I'll pull this out. So it's about the same size. 
4.8 ounces, 1.5. Standard one is 1.6. Um, yeah. I don't know. This Spartan Blades knife is pretty cool. It is American made, as it says on the handle. They are in North Carolina. And if you go to their website, I'll put a link down below. There's a whole bunch of history on the on the company and the people and all that. It's, it's actually a really good website as far as company history. A lot of times you're going to get just a, a paragraph or something about the company. And I, I really enjoyed reading through that. So I'll put a link to that down below. I will also put a link to Peter's uh, A Therapeutic Edges channel up over here and a video that will randomly be selected by YouTube to, to be the best video for you to watch next. I don't know how they do that, but let me know in the comments. Does the video that comes up in the corner something you would watch, or is it not? Because I'm curious as to how the algorithm works, if you will. Thanks a lot, guys. I greatly appreciate it. And a Therapeutic Edge, thanks for the loan.